գլոբալ այսպես զարգացումների աշխարհակարգական զարգացումների համար Kazakhstan occupies a very central position with regard to the global geopolitical developments. It is an enormous country that is almost the size of Western Europe. In some sense, it has a central value for China's One Belt, One Road, the Belt and Road Initiative. Yes, the Belt and Road Initiative. And in terms of the global resistance and competition between the United States and China, the overland roads linking China to Russia, to Iran, and to Turkey through the South Caucasus and to Europe, all these roads pass through Kazakhstan. Also, let us not forget the energy resources of Central Asia which China feeds off. The first thing we can infer is the natural gas of Turkmenistan. And it is safe to say that the natural gas is almost more than 50% of the gas that is supplied to China. We can also infer the oil pipelines that run to China. The expansion of Chinese economy in Central Asia over the past 30 years can't be compared with the economic expansion of any country, including Western countries, much less Russia. So, here we need to be able to see the moment of the global competition and see what the sides are trying to do in this situation, based on the equation. This destabilization is leading to the emergence of problems with China's meridional road, which, in some sense, also passes through Armenia. And I am inferring the so-called Meghri Corridor. This is part of the larger corridor passing from China to Europe, and Kazakhstan is the main central part of the corridor and the country that is destabilizing and is putting implementation of this whole project at risk. In this sense, the corridor of Armenia, that is, the Zangezur corridor, is linked to that big project. And there can be diverse and ever-changing influences. It is still too early to calculate the developments because there may be different configurations and scenarios in Kazakhstan. There may be conflict of interest or compatibility of interests. On one side, there is conflict of interest of Russia, China, the Turan and the West. This is the difficult equation that has been formed. The configuration will be clear after the talks that are currently in progress, including, for example, the meeting of the Turkic Council which is scheduled to be held tomorrow, and to prevent this, the Council of the Collective Security Treaty Organization held a surprise meeting today with representatives of Turkic states. The Russia-United States talks are underway, and then there will be the Russia-NATO talks. All this will take place in the next few days. It is obvious that this is not going to end in the next few days. However, in many regards, there will be talks about zones of influence, that is, who can have a particular zone of influence and to what extent, and what competition and conflicts may emerge in accordance with those zones of influence.